What's good, guys? If you're looking for cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure I head over my sponsor. Use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout for the most cheapest, most fastest, most quickest, reliable source on the internet right now. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another video. And guys, today, we actually did get some updates on the TTO, on the Triple Threat Online as well. Board. So um, before you get this video, guys, if you could please smash that sub button, smash the like button, be appreciated, man. We are on the road to 14,000 subs. We do post daily. Um... We're going to start playing some 2K, man. I'm not really liking TTO rewards. I don't think the rewards are worth me grinding this. Uh, especially in the next gen. But, yo, if you guys are new, like, sub, comment down below. Be appreciated. Every comment will be answered. And also, if you guys do need MT, hit me up. I'm buying and selling MT on uh, Xbox and PS4. Links down below. Uh, hit me up on Instagram and Twitter if you do need MT. So, I do have a lot of MT in stock. So, make sure to hit me up. Um, anyways, we're going to go over the mark in this video. I pretty much go over the market every single day. Yesterday, if you didn't see my top snipe filter video, make sure to go check that out because top snipe filters are most definitely key. Um, most 100% definitely key. So make sure to go check that out. 25 days left in the season. Um, we're just going to get into this market. We're going to see if it's up. We're going to see if the market has gone up a lot. Um, I have 78K. I do have to buy a squad. I did sell most of my squad on Friday and I popped some packs. So yeah. Um, looking at the Amethyst, the Amethysts are actually pretty stable right now. Um, they're around 8,000 to 9,000. They've been there since I would say Thursday. Friday, they were definitely cheaper, but the market's definitely going to be up a little bit since Friday. Um, this week, we should have a huge market crash coming. Tomorrow, we're going to have new content on a Tuesday. Um, hopefully, we get some fire content. I really, really hope we get some fire content. I thought we just saw 3K. Um, so definitely check out the Amethyst filter. It's going to be one of the better filters to try to get your snipes. I believe the Amethyst filter is one of the better filters in this game. Um, another thing is, you should most definitely, most definitely try bit sniping. You just have to know pricing. Bit sniping is key as hell. So right here, we got this Call of Duty Towns for 13400 And I got outbitted. And oh, we're not the highest bidder. So sometimes it's really hard. Ruby end is definitely a little bit easier. Definitely try bit sniping on the Ruby end. This can make you a lot, and I mean a lot of MT. Um, I've made a lot of MT like this, a lot of MT like this. Sapphires as well. And why do I say sapphires? People are like, bro, you can't make MT of sapphires. Well, you can. I'm gonna tell you why. Because there is a Giannis Antetokounmpo, there's a Steph Curry, there's a LeBron James sapphire, and they're all well over the Ruby base price, which is kind of crazy. So Giannis, ooh, 4300, 4800. Guys, this Giannis card isn't the best, but it's the fact that people want Giannis on their team. So people are going to go out there and try to get Giannis. Now, there's another player, obviously, his name's Steph Curry. Everybody knows Curry, the MVP. Um, Steph Curry, he's still up there in value. I'm going to tell you guys why he's not worth it. He's only worth it to snipe. So Steph Curry Sapphire is over 11,000 MT. He's going for around 12,000 MT. Now, I'm going to tell you why this Curry is not worth it whatsoever. Because his brother has a Sapphire card that's actually way better than this Steph Curry. Um, his jump shot is super similar. And he actually has more badges than this Sapphire Steph Curry. So if you really are a Curry fan, get his brother. He plays exactly the same. I know it's hard to believe, but just trust me. If you want Curry, get his brother. What's the height difference? Is there even a height difference? It's one inch difference, which doesn't matter. I'm telling you guys right now, Seth Curry is a cheesehead. I use him in my 5-on-5 gameplay. He is so peak, and if you're looking for Steph Curry, just try sniping him out. Definitely do not try him out. Steph Curry for 5 tokens. People also, if you want to get Seth Curry, maybe I'll make a video on him. Um, but if you guys want him really bad, go to rewards. He's one of the Sapphire token rewards. Definitely just scoop him up. Try to use him. He's an absolute beast. He is the best Sapphire token reward player in the game no freaking lie so definitely try that out next um so we do the ruby let's go over diamond contracts let's see what's going on with diamond contracts as you guys know diamond contracts have been absolutely amazing to snipe so maybe we'll snipe them in this video yesterday they went up a lot of mt they're up over twenty four thousand mt which is very very hard to believe they're up over 26k so if you invested around eighteen thousand mt you're up a lot of MT. These contracts are up to 27,000 MT. And I believe you guys could still snipe these out for a pretty good value. I think you get a lot of snipes on these for a pretty good value. So definitely try it out. I would most definitely recommend sniping diamond contracts. You do have to need a little bit of MT to do it, but pretty good way to make MT. I would say it's a pretty, it's a really, really good way to make MT. So definitely try this out. All right, we're going to go over this now. 
Alright, next up. We're going over to event cards and we're going to go to Sapphire. Definitely try sniping out. Nah, you know what? Not Sapphire. Let's go to Ruby. Um, so LeBron, Larry Bird, and I think Wade. So these are all possibly viable. That LeBron for 80k. We got a Bird for 95k. So that LeBron for 80k. We got LeBron for 76k. Wow, there's a lot of value in these. So the Birds and the Wades are not really buyouts. The Wade is super rare. You could probably try sniping out a Wade and or LeBron for a decent price. I feel like a lot less. So this 80k one. We got a 76k one. I think you'd most definitely try sniping out these cards. You just got to really know the pricing. If you get a Dwayne Wade, I think you get one of these cards for like 50k probably. You just have to wait. It's going to be a really slow. It's not the most efficient snipe filter, but it's definitely worth a try here and there. Because I feel like these don't get bought out nearly as quick as cards. This is just for the set. So definitely try this out. You never know if a LeBron or a Wade or a Bird is going to be put up for cheap. So definitely try this out um what else we got um so those are the best night filters i feel ruby filter let's check this out we didn't even check this out in the video so rudy gobert was rocking around 1800 mt i think rudy gobert is up to over 3000 mt now oh nope he's still around 2400 2400 mt so his price didn't really go up i say during the week this price most definitely goes up from 2000 mt up to all the way to 3k I don't think his price will stay. That's my opinion, though. I think his price will most definitely go up. Even though he's not the best shooter, he's not usable at all in shooting. I still think he's a really good defensive player. And in this 2K, defense is really, really good. You need defense in this 2K. It is super, super, super superior. Definitely, definitely, definitely try getting your defensive players up. I promise you it will be very, very well worth it. Rubies are key in this game. Rubies are really good. Lori Markkinen's a really good Ruby as well. But definitely try out this filter. It's going to be dead. It's Monday. Kids are in school. That's just how it's going to work. Um, I think Amethyst most definitely is going to be my favorite snipe filter. And not only that, continuously check Carl Anthony Towns and Blake Griffin. Their prices go up and down. They also get posted for snipes all the time. They're one of the better bigs in the game. So definitely try it out. Uh, let's see what Carl Anthony Towns is going for. Wow, Carl Anthony Towns is 13k. Good thing I didn't get that bid off. So I think Carl Anthony Towns' price will go up in value. He had an Amethyst last year that I invested in, and his price went up a ton. Definitely keep your eyes on Carl Anthony Towns as well as Blake Griffin. They're two really good bigs. People are going to want them on their team, and they're really not that oversaturated as people think. So Carl Anthony Towns is 13,000 MT. Blake Griffin is probably around 20 to 25. That's my guess. And then after this, we're, that's pretty much just going to be it for the video. We're going to check over Blake. Blake Griffin's up to 23,000 MT. That's crazy. I think maybe 22,000 MT. So make sure to keep your eyes on Blake and Carl Anthony Towns. And guys, that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Stay tuned for more content. Have a good one. Peace.